Welcome back. We first encountered Maserati's new coupe, the Gran Turismo, in the last series, and we knew it was something special. Now, each week, we promise to bring you a dream car being thrashed by one of our highly trained racing drivers. So when we heard the Gran Turismo was in the UK, we were asking for the keys. So, the Maserati Gran Turismo. Let's start with the stuff I don't like. Well, there isn't anything at the minute. And that's because this is the sexiest, most desirable, most fabulous looking car you can buy today. From whichever angle you choose, this thing looks like it's worth every penny of its £78,500 price tag. I defy you to tell me of a prettier car on sale. And you know the best bit? Well, it's not the looks, it's the image. Nowadays, Maserati is the only untarnished supercar name left. Tell people at a party you drive a Lamborghini or a Ferrari, well, they're going to back off, assuming that until last week you were one of those lottery winners who shopped at Netto. Tell him you drive a Maserati, well, they're going to want your room number. And when you've got them in your room, you can tell them that 0 to 62 takes 5.2 seconds. And top speed is 177. Now, we're used to hearing manufacturers bleating on about this is the ultimate sports car or this is a real driver's car. You know the stuff. Well, Maserati are making a big song and dance about exactly the opposite. The whole focus of the Gran Turismo is on comfort. And that's a great thing to hear because the last thing you want on a day-to-day -day basis is a bone-shaking ride. And it does ride superbly. It's also cathedral quiet inside and immensely easy to drive. But there's a problem. We live in a world where the BMW M3 has 420 hello there's. But the Maserati, which is a much heavier car, has only 405. The 4.2 litre V8 just doesn't feel up to the job. It feels... It's just the car's a bit heavy for it. It's um. It's still very smooth and refined and you know, it makes all the right sort of noises, but it just doesn't really go anywhere. I'll tell you what is interesting, and that's when you're travelling at a slow speed, it's at that point you want a really talky engine. Because if you're starting to go up a hill, you don't want the gearbox to all of a sudden jump down to a lower gear to give you power. You just want raw grunt. And I think that's where... This car falls down a little bit in that, what are we doing now? Well, let's say 40 mile an hour, give it some welly up a hill. It's a bit slow, but then if I, if I give it a load of welly, then it jumps down the gearbox and it just gets a bit kind of jerky and jumpy. 460 newton meters of torque is fairly modest by today's standards. And you'd expect a big GT like this to have an engine that feels, well, effortless. And sadly, it doesn't. So, it may look fast, but it doesn't really want to go fast. Maserati weren't kidding when they said it was designed for cruising, which it does well. And it's also one of the only cars in this class that will let four people cruise in comfort. The interior is laid out with conservative style, whilst the 30 gig hard drive for Satnava music, well, we love that. So, what at first glance appears to be one of the sexiest cars in the world turns out to be pretty sensible, which is disappointing because it's a bit like marrying a supermodel, then finding out a couple of weeks later she prefers reading books to a bit of tampering and doing. There's one potential salvation. Let's hope the sport mode reveals a little fire in the belly. It certainly has sharpened up a bit. The throttle response is, is there now. I can feel the suspension's a bit stiffer. I've got a better reaction from the steering wheel. Still feels pretty big, though. We're on mixed surface here. It's not bone dry. And even though it's a big, heavy car, we've got fairly good grip. It's actually a really well-balanced chassis. 
And that's a surprise for a car designed first and foremost as a GT. It's just a shame you never quite escape that feeling of being a bit underpowered. It's quite a good fun car to drive, but see there in third gear, not enough grunt from the engine. Oh, I wish I had another 100 horsepower. This is a Maserati, and it shouldn't just be fun. It should be thrilling. Yes, it looks great, and yes, it's built well, and yes, it sounds amazing. But please, give us a bit more grunt.